Wild Eyed Northern Boy, today is Saturday something, December, it's 341. The temp in here is 44 degrees, ain't got no heat on. Mood indicator light says blue for blue by you. I don't know, green, good to go. Temperature outside is, man, I don't even know if that thing works, really. It's like 38 degrees all the time. Um, Johnny Wrench in the house, woo! Yeah, Johnny Wrench, that's me. I guess. Neighbor's car, Wayne, the guy that owns the uh, <coughs> snowblower that I redid. Um, had to drop an oil pan in it. Um, went on YouTube. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Um, I always use Quake State. That's just me. Um, I always use the frame because it's got the little grippy thing. Uh, Felt Pro, you can never beat that. I always put Lucas in it. Mechanic in a can. I'm not saying that. That stuff used to be uh, $7.99. It went up to $13.99. But you know what? I do believe it. I, I do like Lucas. I put it in everything. Um, I'm not saying it's a cure-all, but it's a good ad tip. Okay. I went up on YouTube and um, this is a 2000, yeah, 2000 Taurus 3.0 V6 oil pan be needed. Okay, they say you got to drop the exhaust. I went up on a forum on Google. Um, this one guy says it could be done without dropping this exhaust. He was pretty much right. It's hard to get past this. What you got to do is you got to take a C-clamp and you got to kind of push this together. Kind of, you know, get a little leeway. What you do is you pull the starter off of everything. I got everything back together. Okay, we're moving on. You got to pull the sensor out. And for Rick Fix, this is for Rick Fix. I know you don't got torches, and I understand. And this is not the answer to the world, but that bolt on your car, this is okay. Um, if you would buy map gas, map gas is hotter. Not saying it's the answer to the world, but I do use it before I had a set of torches for heat. You kind of got to have heat. I, always, I learned this from, uh, oh, I can't remember, some dude on YouTube. What's his name? Uh... Ziggy up your ass. He got me hooked on this stuff. I say it's pretty goddamn good. Okay, can never beat this Probably made in the USA. Okay, let's move on Okay, so once you drop this oil pan You the oil pump inside hooks up it, it won't allow you to get to it But it gives you a little it gives you a little room so you can get up there with a 13 inch millimeter And you got to drop that down and drop it all together yeah, really? Okay, so when you put the gasket back up in there, you can't put the oil pump in there. You got to have it hanging in an oil pan, and once you get the, uh, it's, it's out of control because it's got a baffle in here. Once you get the oil pan up so far, you hang it up with your knee, you're doing one of these numbers, reaching up in the side with a 13 mil, because you don't want to use a socket because you'll drop it down in there. Yeah, I've done it. And then you're going to need a little magnet thing to right there to pull the, the wrench back out because you're getting irritated. I have anyway. It can be done. Let me turn some light on. Yeah, let's get some light up in here. See? There you go. Um, I put it. I put the gasket on the pan. I didn't put it on the, uh, the motor block. On the block. They tell you to do that first. Hey, well, you know, I try to do my own thing. Um, they tell you to use these. Yes, that's nice. These are nice, and I didn't use them if the exhaust ain't in the way because I didn't want it to take forever. I got six hours and some minutes into it. Okay, there you go. Woo! Okay. I always use this. I don't care what anybody says. I always use this. Is the only thing I use Permatex Ultra Copper because I had a problem back in the day when I had my vet up on the road I was blowing header gaskets and collected gaskets like crazy this is not this is not make a gasket this is use a gasket and put a thin coat on it I like this stuff it's got copper in it I learned it off car crap magazine and you know what they did a study and the shit's pretty goddamn good okay here's the old gasket um, this is where it was squeezing out right in the front of the motor because if you were standing in front of the car this is where it was squeezing out. Why would that squeeze out? I don't know if anybody ever got in there. Um, you got to put some silicone in the corner. Um, let me see. Where's the keys at? This car ain't got very many miles on it, really. I ain't saying he bought it brand new. Where's the keys at? I don't fucking know at the moment. Okay, let's move on. Um, yeah, let's go over here. 
You're not going to believe what I'm going to show you next after I show the miles what's up with this car. And Wayne doesn't even know yet. Okay, that door don't open because it's pinched per se because the jack's there. Okay, so let's go over here. Yeah. Open the door. I don't want this thing to fall off the jack stand. Okay, let me see if I can turn this on. Oh, the battery ain't on. Really? But it's saying it's got a, uh, you probably can't see it. Let me zoom up in this rascal. It's got 88,000 miles on it. Shit, that ain't very many motherfucking miles in my neighborhood. But check this out. This is pretty sad. It's pitiful. <clears throat> I don't know what to do about it. I ain't getting paid to do it. But you know, hey, here we are. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. You see that right there? Okay, you got, that's a catalytic converter. And this is the pesticide tire. And this is kind of like a that big nut right there and you got a big support. Basically, hold, you know, hold, hold comes all the way around. Basically, all this front end is all hooked to this shit. See right there? Okay, you ready? This is fucking pitiful. It's even coming around on the side. Look at the holes. Right here, really? That is, it's holding together. It looked like she started coming apart here. Man, uh, yeah, it's got a support here. It goes here, but that ain't the, that ain't the fucking strongest to me. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know what happened. Right there, it's not good, man. Um, it's not good. I don't even dare touch it because me? Wow, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's sad. They don't make cars, you know? Because this is the whole, gonna, that holds the whole, uh, nah, what is the A-arm? You know? Everything, fuck, I don't know. I haven't showed him yet. And he's an older guy, you know, and he, he don't have a lot of money. He's retired, um, you know? Fuck, you can't get 30 years and out anymore around here on a fucking factory, so... Anyway, um, yeah, let me go and see how many minutes I got. Cut the light off. There we go. Um, yeah, commercial break. Um, really, get my timer. Got nine minutes of running. Yeah, on your mark, get set, go. Wow, that thing's pretty blurry, ain't it? What? Jeez, old Pete, what? Oh, I got some dirt on it. Now it's blurrier than what it was, yeah? There you go. Really? Man, you got some glare from something, really? Man, come on, let's go. Not that anybody wants to see my motherfucking mug anyway. Okay. Ain't, ain't no better. Fuck it. Whatever, man. Is that motherfucker focus or what? Yeah, it's focus. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see if I got some words of wisdom. Yeah, I got some words of wisdom. Um, praise your kids, praise your wife, praise people that do good for you. Uh, just don't um, say thank you. Say, you know what, I really appreciate it, man, that you fucking helped me out. Because people don't help other people out. There's some people that are good. People take shit for granted, so do I. And I need not to. Man, am I too close, too far, what? Really, there you go. You guys wanted the video? I didn't plan on doing a video. You say there ain't no videos out there. You know what I want to know? Just hog them. Where you at, man? Dave's Custom, where you at? Slow SRT, where you at? Y'all gonna do some videos or what, man? If it wasn't for HPR and Darren, well, there wouldn't be no fucking videos out there. Really, just hogging. You know what? You know what? Push record. It's that simple. It's that simple. Shit, I was left watching fucking TV lately. That's pitiful. Yeah, that's sad. That's a 2000 man with 88,000. So I don't believe you bought it new, but it hasn't been driven. Well, he drives it in the winter. But still, the part of the frame part should be rusting out. Hell no. I guess that uh, 68 uh, Roadrunner convertible is going to be coming down there Monday and I'm supposed to go talk to the guy. Okay. Well, 
whatever. Um, we'll see. Uh, did quote him on the 3M, Chrysler 3M. I was wrong in my last video. It's a driver's door and passenger door. And this is what he says. He's going to find out how much a passenger door would be for a Ford or a Chrysler 3M. And whatever that would be, that would... It's, if it, I don't know. It's like uh, he ain't going to pay more than what a door would cost. That's, that's fine. I don't expect to. But you better fix the fucking dog leg too because you can't, you know. So it's, just say the door is uh, 300 bucks. Just say the door is the rear door. And that's all he wants to give me to fix the door, the front door, the back door, and the dog leg? No. No. I'm not starving yet. That's why I took this job. They wanted $260 at a mechanic to do it. Another guy was going to do it for Wayne for $150, including parts. I'm like, man, I can't be doing all that. You know, um, I quoted him $175, and I bought the parts out of my own pocket, so I got it. Between the oil and the gasket, the Lucas and the oil filter, I got 60 bucks. 60 from 175 is fucking 115 bucks. Is that okay? Sure. I guess. Sure. So I'm better than nothing. Am I grateful? Yeah, I'm grateful. I learned one thing I'd rather do body work. You know, because um, I, I, I can do mechanics, but I'd rather not to because it's greasy and. You know, you're underneath the car and shit be dripping on you and you get irritated and, you know, I can do it, but I don't want to. It's always funny to me that a mechanic makes more than a body man. I don't understand, never understood that. I said it one of my other videos before. A body man is fucking like uh, Michelangelo. He's got a sculpture of this motherfucking shit to put it back together. A mechanic? I don't know. Maybe that, I don't know. Fuck it. What are you going to do? You don't want to get dirty. I don't want to get dirty either. Oh, and uh, here, here's the words of wisdom. More minutes I got left. 13 minutes? Okay, this is the words of wisdom. When that light thing starts to fall, when you're trying to carry it down there, let the motherfucker fall. Trust me. Let the motherfucker fall. Because that glass and them bulbs, yeah, I was carrying it down there for some reason it started falling. I didn't want it to fall and smash all the bomb, so I tried to catch it. Yeah, really? Um, yeah, got a nice little something something here. It's looking pretty good. Actually, I need to take this off because I'm done wrenching on this beast. Come on now, really? People ain't got time for all this. See, there, there's one that ain't too bad. Um, this one I had to use super glue. My wife said they're uh, probably going to need uh, stitches, but no, we ain't doing that. That one right there? Yeah. Where is it at? Come on, man. Really? Right there. T Jeez, oh, Pete. Are you... F yeah, right. Man. How enough? Right there. Yeah. There's some glass sticking out of that. See, you got tag me up there, too. There's some glass sticking out of there. But, you know, you just go and use some super glue. I didn't have no super glue here, either. I just had to, uh, yeah. Here you go, there's a good view. Yeah, I had to, uh, do want to get some super glue at Kmart. But anyway, the oil trying to get it and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go tell, show Wayne, uh, I gotta put oil on this beast still, and I had to put, you know how bad he don't stay, man. My wife thinks she's a doctor, you know, all the time on TV, she means well, but she's probably right, when you put two or bad two on it, it kind of gets a grease, the, you know, infection and stuff. That's when we pour hydro peroxide, it kind of oozes out. Yeah, I think I fucking said enough already, huh? Um, really? Yeah. Lucas? I like Lucas, man. I do. I do. My buddy got me started. Okay, you ready? Peace of mind. Peace of oneself. Peace of property. Peace on earth. Internal peace. Bigger piece of the pie. Peace of pussy. Um, something. Uh, piece of property. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Moved in the kid and light says. Red. Ready, fucking, and pretty. Um, yeah, I think I'm done here. It's raining. 
Snow's ready to come around the corner, at least he ain't here yet. Freaking fucking cold, people. Really? You better bundle up with a bunch of motherfucking shirts and shit. Ain't trying to pay no heat bills. Peace!